Now, as we've already seen, the Holy Spirit is the source of that resurrection power. It is Christ living in us, but it's Christ living in us through his spirit. And it's through his presence in our lives that we're empowered with that resurrection power. The key to it is our willingness to cooperate with the Holy Spirit. That's the key to the whole thing. Our willingness to cooperate with the Holy Spirit. So the Bible warns us that there are three ways to thwart resurrection power in our lives. And the first way is by resisting the Spirit. James said in Acts 7.51, you stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. You always resist the Holy Spirit. And to resist in Greek means to oppose. And the term stiff neck originally uh, in ancient Israel was the farmers who were farming, they would plow their fields using oxen. And if the ox got stubborn and didn't want to follow the guidance of the farmer, it would stiffen up its neck muscles. And so it becomes stiff-necked, and you couldn't control uh, the ox. We resist the Holy Spirit when we refuse to follow his guidance, when we stiffen up against him. Secondly, we uh, thwart resurrection power by grieving the Spirit. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. And so that's our sin, the sins uh, in us that causes the Holy Spirit to be sorrowed or grieved. Uh, In the previous verse of that and the verse after it, Paul itemizes some of those sins that grieve the Holy Spirit. Corrupt words. Uh, Bitterness. Wrath. Anger clamor, and evil speaking. You know, I was talking about YouTube before. You know, uh, of, of all of our videos on the Gospel of Matthew in YouTube, you know the one that is the most viewed? Overcoming anger. Isn't that interesting? Overcoming anger. And thwarting resurrection power by quenching the Spirit. Do not quench the Spirit, Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 5.19. And that's the ref- a reference to the Holy Spirit burning in us. That passion, that fire that's in us. Those gifts that the Holy Spirit gives us that we are to use to serve in the church. And refusal to, re- to use our gifts and our talents quenches the Spirit and prevents the church f- to, from accomplishing its purpose. And so, as Christians, we all have a part in that. And when we refuse to use our gifts and our talents, we're actually hindering the church from accomplishing its purpose. And so these are the warnings so that we can have uninterrupted resurrection power because Jesus is alive.